All right, so on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we did dive back into our artificial intelligence course. So let's get another pick up where we left off. At the last time we spoke, we were going over our knowledge module, and I already read it for you. If you don't remember what it was about, you can go back and uh, watch that episode of Python Poppy. But yeah, we're moving right along. We did take a lot of notes, of course. It was lecturing. And tonight, we actually uh, printed up, well, we didn't print, we typed up a, a mock example of, let me get right here for you, model checking. Now, model checking helps us to determine if our knowledge base equals our alpha, and then it enumerates over all the possible models. In other words, it considers all the possible values of true and false for our variables and all possible states in which our world can be. If in every model where KB is true or our knowledge base is true, KB entails alpha. That means the knowledge base entails the alpha means if the KB is true, that means alpha is true. I know it doesn't make sense. I'm just going over reading it for you. Now, this is going to form the foundation of our model checking algorithm. We are going to enumerate over all the possible worlds and ask ourselves whether the knowledge base is true and if alpha is true. And if that's the case, then we know the alpha to be true. And if it is not, there can be no entailment, which means that if the knowledge base isn't true, that means alpha can't be true. That means alpha can't entail or knowledge base can't entail alpha, which means the knowledge base doesn't equal alpha. It means they both have to be true or everything is false. Now, this is an example here of it. I know you probably... It's going to be hard for you. So P is going to be one of our, how can I put this for you? Uh, let me uh, go back for you. P is going to be one of our symbols that we use. And you can see it represents a sentence. All of our symbols represent sentences. Let me just say that for you. P, Q, and R. P represents it is Tuesday. Q represents it is raining. R represents Harry will go for a run. Our knowledge base says here that P and not Q implies R. Meaning that in order for this knowledge base to be true, P has to be true, Q has to be false, and then they both imply R. That means they both mean that R is true, which means Harry will go for a run. So we have to figure out from this knowledge base here what all that means. So since we know that P is true, it can't be any of these first four here because you can see that they're all false. So we have to go for a true. This first one is true here. Now we know that P and not Q implies R. So that means that Q has to be false. So that means this one can't be right because it's false. No? Yeah, this one can't be right because it's false. And that means it has to imply R. But R is false. So it can't be this one here. The next one is true. And also, the Q is false. And R is true. So it looks like we have a winner here. Because the other two don't match up. We have a true for P, which is good. And we have a true for, a true for Q, which is wrong. It should be false. And also this one here true for p and true for q which you know won't work because q has to be false so it looks like out of all of these possible scenarios this is the only world or model that our knowledge base can exist and i actually went down a little bit further and you can see exactly where we put that at so p q r knowledge base that means p it is raining no let me go back up for you so don't confuse myself. Yeah. P means it is Tuesday. Q means that it is not raining, which means Harry did go for a run. And then in turn, that means our knowledge base is true because all of the factors added up. Now, again, I know it sounds like I'm stumbling all over the places because we did a lot of typing and there was a lot of information to put together for you to try to make a two minute video. But yeah, that's the gist of what we did tonight. And I'm not going to go in depth from everything. I'm not here to teach. I'm here to learn. I'm going to give you a little jewels along the way as much as I can. But yeah, that's what we have so far. Now, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. We're going to keep on going further and further. This is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.